Mm. Haven't done one of these in quite a while. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, Omegatron. How's everything, buddy? I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I decided since I'm uh, here home under the best of care, I, uh, why not? Why not jump on and say hello and talk to people? Finest of meals is being prepped for me right now. Fridays and Saturdays are like my D-Day. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of people on here on a, on a Saturday. It's early, right? Well, it's early for, uh, for you and where you're at. Here it's what? What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I woke up just now. 11.21 a.m. Nope, too early. <laughs> well, I mean, there's people on ahead of time that, you know, like the hamburgers of the world where it's six hours, six hours ahead. But wanted to come on here, and I don't think I'll get a lot of people, but hey, come on for little as little as time as I can. Let me see if I can uh Where's uh mm-hmm. Are you at therapy? No, I'm home. I do treatments on Thursday and then um like Fridays are are like I'm at a commission on Fridays and then today on like Saturday I start to sort of bounce back. Like my equilibrium's thrown off right now. I'm freezing cold even though it's, you know, eighty something degrees outside. I'm looking through who I can get this to. Wanted to talk about a couple different, couple different things. There goes my other account, Transform X. I'm glad my uh, five dollars to Fiverr to have you know someone log into my other accounts works. Transform X. Where? I'm just freezing cold. Transfer mix in the world, it's it's ahead in time, so it's not early for him. Like I said, I haven't done one of these in a in a long time. So um what else what, what else what else is going on? Enemy <laughs> omega three essential fat. <laughs> I'm essential fat. Like many things in the world, my lives have been forgotten. TNA, tits and ass? Is that what's going on? You're at the hospital? I'm home. Can't you hear my dryer going off? I am home. Thursdays I do treatment and then I'm I'm home. TNA wrestling I don't I I don't watch TNA wrestling I'm an AEW guy I'm a company guy I have to support the company. 
I, I really don't watch TNA. I actually um, missed uh, AEW last night. It was on Friday night. They've switched. It was on last night. I didn't catch it the first time. We're back to having crowds again. Uh, we're back to having people in stadiums. Florida never gave really a shit, but now they have like the full go ahead. So stadiums and sports are back to where they need to be. Omega is my own fiber. <laughs> uh, AW has some old TNA guys. Uh, I mean, I think I think everybody's kind of gone through TNA at some point. It's kind of like the uh, you know demilitarized. and you're on your way to something else. It's kind of like the way Ring of Honor is too. Um, you know, right now, I mean, I'm just going to say this, you know, AEW is fucking top of their game. They're, they're beating out fucking WWE in ratings. Everybody's tired of that kitty shit, you know? Like, you know, AEW still got some stuff to work out, but, you know, they're doing a lot better than WWE, in my opinion. They're the first ones to go back to having crowds. I know WWE, I think in July or mid-June, will be going back to having people in crowds again. Um, it's just, it's different, man. It's different having, you know, people back in stadiums, che you know, cheering. And it's a different energy. It's a completely different energy. Um, AEW is going to be getting some, I can't really say who, but they're going to be getting some nice talent. Uh, probably in the very foreseeable future. I mean, we're talking about talent that WWE just did a massive amount of layoffs, massive amount of layoffs, and fuck, they don't understand. You know, you got you got the iconics, two you know rising female stars, Australian girls, and they just let go. You know for whatever reason they may be. And they even said in an interview how they're shocked that that happened. Shocked. I was shocked. Because I'm like, okay, Velveteen Dream that was on NXT, he got into some trouble in the backstage. I knew his time was fucking numbered. They let go of him. talent and I'm telling you I've been saying it for years and everybody knows this WWE is not the land of fucking dreams anymore it is the land of you go there and you're you're fucking told what to do what to say how to act how to wrestle but then at the same time go out there and have a good time how can you go out there and have a good time when you're fucking scrutinized and criticized for everything you do don't say this don't do that you don't, you're not given a push. They give certain people a push. You know, back in the days, you had guys having reigns of, like, years. Years. You had fucking people with the belts. I mean, we're talking... And I'm talking about recently, too. John Cena fucking had years with the belt. CM Punk, a whole year with the belt. Now, like, the fucking belt is a, a, a sock that gets just fucking circulated around. Hey, use this. Use this. Use this. It's ridiculous. At the same time, it's so fucking watered down G-rated. I, I just can't stand it. The only thing they have going for them right now is the fact that Roman Reigns is probably the best heel. Like, they, they needed to make him heel a long time ago. Seriously, like, just... It's, it's, that's the only thing they have going for them right now. Only thing. AEW, on the other hand, psh. We got fucking massive, massive amount of things going on with.
fucking ahead of the game. And that's hats off to Chris Jericho. Without Chris Jericho, I remember when he first, they, their first double or nothing they debuted, he's like, I want everybody to thank me. And he was legitimately true. Without Chris Jericho, there'd be no AEW. I mean, it would be, it would be something, but not what it is today. Whew. has a title within the company, or maybe not. But they formed it. Tony Khan came to him, came to Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, said, hey, I want to make a company, a wrestling company. It was after, uh, I think it was after All In. They, these guys were all independent wrestlers, re- wrestling for Ring of Honor and whatnot. Blue Reaction, what's up, buddy? So they formed a company, and it's it's skyrocketed. It's taken off. It's great. You need that kind of active competition. You would think WWE would step up their game, but even WrestleMania? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am so glad... I didn't fucking get tickets to that because I would have been so disappointed. I would have been so disappointed. I I probably wouldn't have gone anyway, but I mean, my, one of the things on my fucking, you know, my, my, uh, bucket list is to be front row at WrestleMania, but that is like drastically changing because it's just WWE is not what it is anymore. I think about I want to be front row seat with Triple H against The Rock. I want to be front row with Stone Cold against The Rock. Not with the fucking talent they have. Okay, I have to check it out. So no more it work. And TNA that did the black machismo. You talking about Jay Lethal? He actually does a very good Macho Man impression. So no more IT work. No, I still do IT work. Actually, my uh, my replacement drive showed up in the mailbox. I just haven't gone and gotten it yet. It's been sitting there since yesterday. I'm gonna have to send somebody to get it. I can't get up. Um. I was hoping Chuck E. Cheese Ranch would be on here. Does he wrestle anymore? Yes, he wrestles for Ring of Honor. Um, Jay Lethal. Here, I will record. There you go. Let me know when you're recording, Omega. And then you can send this out to the universe. I'm sure he records this one, I think. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how he does it because there's times where he's not even in my lives and then he has a full recording of the whole thing. Are you looking to buy a house? No, I was just, I was, it's a little gag, a little joke. Just of the market that's going on in Boca right now is, is well, the market everywhere for housing is, Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But that's what are you gonna do? That's the way it is. <sighs> Where did the GoFundMe go? It got reported. Listen, hey. 
for they they are still you know want to call them maniacs piss troopers whatever you want to call them that that hate my guts you know for various reasons want me dead want me gone and i knew that if a gofundme which was put together by aladdin and a maniac in the uk put together so that my closest friends and the people that actually do care about me if they wanted to donate they could donate because people have been asking me how can i help how can i help and anytime people would donate or want to donate to me i would return it because i just i'm never the type of person that can ask for cash or ask for a handout i've never been that way even though i might have some issues going on with the the chemo treatment payments i'm not Aladdin and this this maniac were doing this on the down low to collect funds from people. And then um, I think Aladdin posted it. And then that's when it kind of got the eyes of certain certain individuals that wanted to report it. I really don't know who was behind it and, you know, but they... The judge and jury can see that it's a foreign entity of criminals doing that. I think he stated his case to GoFundMe, but by that time it was it was already done. Yeah, it did blue reaction. I got like it broke it up into pieces. In hindsight, honestly, even though it went it went the way, I'm okay with it because I I was. This is gonna sound really horrible, but I was on the fence about the GoFundMe when I found out about it, 
only because, again, I don't like asking for handouts. I don't like asking for money and shit like that. Um, so I was on the fence about it. Like, and then I talked to Aladdin. He was like, you know, Aladdin, you know, is such a good person. And he was just, he was just drilling into my head. He's like, listen, you know, fuck those people that hate you. And donated the people that reposted it transform x you got to be a freak andrew andrew when he reposted i was like holy shit thank you so much um because to me it's not even about the donations being collected it's that people are reposting it because they care you know people post their lives and things that they're working on in videos and you're posting somebody's gofundme that to me means more than actually getting the donations themselves That's basically in a nutshell. Now, I know, I know since then, um, you know, the Maniac and Aladdin are working on a way to collect funds uh, anonymously without GoFundMe. That's what I've been told. Um, So that's basically in a nutshell. I'm doing all right. I really am. Like, you know, like I said, Thursdays are my fucking D day, and then Friday is I'm 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 really MIA on on Fridays. I'm practically here, and then now Saturday. This is mid morning. I'm starting to get my energy back. Um, so that's that, that's it. You got to bounce, hang in there. All right, Omega. See ya, buddy. Someone needs to make a video confirmation of Jay Masters and how he shut down. See, like, somebody sent me a clip that Jay, Jay says that he, uh, he had nothing to do with it. So, he says he has nothing to do with it, but I saw the posts, like, are liking posts by people that are trying to take down a GoFundMe. And I'm not going to say, I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, it's fucked up. To me, that's more fucked up. But to me, honestly, I just unfollow them. Like, if you if you support that kind of toxic behavior and you're liking it and, you know, giving it a thumbs up and I see it, I won't say anything to you anymore. I just... Fucking, I unfollow you and you go on with your life. Fortunately, it's not, it's not that weird energy. <laughs> he made a comment that he thought it seemed fraudulent that he directed the ruggish people to do their thing. Of course, yeah. Instead of collecting facts, let's just go with fucking assumptions. That is very true, Transform X. I can't I can't deny that. It's alright. Like I said, I'm I'm okay with it. I I, I was a little I was like 50-50 about it from the get-go. So I'm alright that it's um it's not out there anymore. I just I never liked GoFundMe's. I never liked any of that. I I've donated to a thousand of those things, but for me personally, no. No. I mean, 
the reasoning behind it, you know, was was one hundred percent true, but um, that's a whole other story. I, I'll tell you this for the three people that are in here. My 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 faith in our medical industry was already on shaky grounds. Now it is nothing but a fucking scam. A humongous fucking scam. Overall, it seems like you're not comfortable accepting money because you know you can make it on your own, which is very... Listen, if it adds up as debt, I'll fucking pay it off. It just... It's horrible. It's horrible how the fucking... Our medical insurance system works here in the United States. It's it's just atrocious. It's toxic. It's a scam. And I'm just, I was on shaky grounds with how our medical insurance worked from the get-go. And now I have zero faith in it. All they want to do is just fucking rob you blind. Charge you for everything. Everything. I, I like I've seen shit over the years with the medical industry like when my son was born we got a bill for a thousand dollars to my son's name when he was fucking one month year old a bill to him for his stay in the emergency room I had to fight that it's a fucking newborn it's incredible. It's fucked how your insurance works. Yeah, it's legit theft. Yes. I think it's a scam billing wise. Not necessarily the doctors themselves. The billing is a joke. The insurance is. It's all a joke.
empathy or or without asking anything in return or without videotaping themselves doing the good things is complete 100% genuine and from the heart. So I, I, I have nothing but love and respect for him. That's what I'm saying. Once taxpayers get screwed, people start pointing fingers and the behavior of the health insurance and doctors office buildings will be sought out and fixed. I would hope so. I don't think that's going to happen in my lifetime, though. Hey, David, what's up, buddy? Hope things are getting better. Yes. The DMs I would get, which were just, you know, vile and toxic, but funny at the same time, because you have you have a band of guys who really look up to Jay as a father figure. And if that's your idol, holy shit, is your life fucked up? But who am I to say, you know, that's their life. You know, that's my opinion. That's your fucking idol. Don't worry about fucking wanting me dead. You got to look at yourself. Look at your life if that's your idol. I got two bills from a pathology lab from a mole removal. I called them to sort it out. I'm pondering how much profanity to use all of it. Use all the profanity you can. Tell them you're bilingual. You speak English and profanity. It's a fucking scam, man. It's a fucking scam. It's a legit scam. They will do anything to fucking rob you blind. And it... it, uh, Everybody's like, oh, Biden's in office. He's going to make it worse. Oh, Trump's in office. He's going to make it better or worse. It doesn't matter who's in office. It's lobbyism, man. It's going to exist no matter who's in office. It might get better, might get worse, might get better a little bit, might get worse. You can't blame it on the politicians or who's in office. This shit has been going on for many, 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 many years, no matter who's in office. One of the Ruggish boys posted about how his life was more fucked than Lenny's. You wouldn't believe how big of losers those guys are. I don't know. I can't, I can't, you know. They're saying their life is more fucked than Lenny's. I mean, that's, it's pretty dark. So, yeah. He 
He posted about how he wanted to shoot himself, but he didn't own a gun because he lives in California and his wife who just left him just got pregnant. So he just went to go live in the woods with a tent. But he has internet because he's on Ruggis. That's what matters. Let me get my life together. Let me get on Ruggis and, you know, fucking attack somebody else. Louis Rossman had the same kind of story. He had an insurance for disaster for disasters or work interruption. Then and he's a complete drug addict and alcoholic. That sounds like a urban farmer. Before he had a shootout with the cops up there in Canada. That guy had severe, severe. Mental issues. I mean, really fucked up mental issues. I talked to the guy. Like, I talked to... The, I've talked about this before. I talked to that guy all the time. You know, he... he First, he came at me like every average troll does. Uh, you know, you're a cuck. You need to die. Uh, go kill yourself. Go rope yourself. You're a leech. You want to be a misfit. You know, all the, all that stuff, right? And I was like, he would keep saying it over and over and over again. And I said to him, I was like, are you done? Like, are you done? Because all this stuff, you guys got to get new material. Because it's the same stuff I've been hearing for years. Um, and then once we got past that and we started to talk like human beings, like an adult to an adult, um, we were on good grounds. He would talk to me about his issues and I would give him advice. He would tell me what's going on. He would show me pictures of the guns he was getting. I was like, buddy, you're getting a little too many guns there. But whatever, it's his life. He would tell me what he's smoking, what he's on, what gear he's on. He would tell me the stacks that people would tell him to be on. I'm not going to mention names. You know, people in authority figures would tell him the stacks to be on. And he would try them out and he would tell me, oh, I feel, I don't feel good on this stack. Well, fucking get off it then. You know, oh, I was told that, uh, 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 you know, I should be on this and I should be on that because I want to, you know, I want to grow. But I feel horrible and I have horrible fucking mood swings and thoughts and I'm thinking about killing myself. and, And I would tell him, just get off of it. If you feel like shit and... You're taking the advice of somebody that looks horrible, has the, has the brain of a fucking pickle jar in an ashtray, get off of it then. And he would get off of it, he would feel better, but then he would go back on it because he wanted to make gains. And look what that all that led to. Blood, oh my god. You're not insured. That sounds about right. The order of these messages is making my meshes seem weird. No, I gotcha. I have issues. I forgot how to hit a baseball. You can get those sorted. You're not gonna go fucking on Ruggis and, you know, attack real people and follow a authority figures that attack kids like come on man any advice get out there and take
maybe some someone phenomenal. But you talk to my brother. You know the. He's a good trainer. He helps out kids. Does does good things with his life. Pays it forward, which we all should be doing, right? All right. I'm going to go eat food. Um, definitely once I get better, I'll be back at this probably a lot more. So for all the people that wish me dead and want me gone, ain't happening. Reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. I will see you guys when I see you.